The people of Constantinople may keep their possessions. There will be no looting. In return, you will open the gates of the city and kiss the hands of our Sultan. Sultan Mehmet will be the one ruler of the Romans. I'm about to blow your mind. I'm about to blow your mind. Now, this is for those who do not know about the Hadiths. Now, this will be the Christians, and this will be those that are in the Israelite movement. You do not know about what I'm about to tell you. But for those that are in Islam, you know about this guy. Now, I'm about to blow your mind. Allah revealed to me. There's not one single person on this planet that should be as happy as me. If anybody on this planet has a reason to praise God, it is me. I should be more happy than what I am. Every day, I have to challenge myself to praise God because I should be absolutely praising his name through the roof everywhere I go. Now, I'm going to show you something. Now, this is going to be in a Hadith. It's going to be the Al-Bakari. It's going to be book number 31, number 4269, narrated by Abdullah Abin Musad. The prophet, peace be upon him, said, If only one day of this world remained, Allah would lengthen that day, according to the version of Zada, till he raised up in it a man who belongs to me or to my family, whose father's name is the same as my father's, who will fill the earth with equity and justice as it has been filled with oppression and tyranny. Now let's pause. That's a whole lot said. There's not one single person in history who has ever came to this earth and changed the entire earth, especially how dark it is today. We know, according to this Hadith, it is plainly telling us that there's coming one man, and this one man is going to change the world. Now, you never heard of anything like this. Because if you are a Christian or a so-called Israelite, okay, I'm not being disrespectful, but you don't know anything about this prophecy because your mind is wrapped around little Jesus. Peace be upon him. Now, you have to open up your mind and think big. This Hadith is prophesying of one man who's going to come and change the entire world. Just like it's filled with wickedness, violence, oppression, and tyranny, it's going to be filled with the opposite. Now, my journey in knowing that I was the Mahdi, I had no clue. I had no idea. I didn't even know about this prophecy, guys, until a couple weeks ago. But my whole life, everything I've been doing has been pointing to me being this guy. Could you believe it? Little old me. I am the Matty. Okay? I didn't know I had no clue. As you can see, I'm ecstatic. I was surprised when I read this. Now, this is the big shocker. Most of the Arabians believe that this guy would be Arabian, and he is not. As you can see, I am black as all get out. And the thing about this is you need to know the Bible, the Quran, and the Hadiths speaks in metaphors. It speaks in figurative language. It's not always exact. For instance, the prophet, peace be upon him, said he loves the mountains of Ahud because the mountains love him. How is a mountain, a rock, going to love him? 
He's speaking over your head. He's speaking in a metaphor. And he is talking about a guy named Daquant Lamonti. That means the mountain clay. And his father, my father, is the same. And my father's name is Monty Brooks, okay? Stone. And I never lived with him. I didn't even know who my dad was until about eight years ago. And this is the real truth. Those who know me know I'm telling the truth. But my mom had enough common sense to name me Daquant. That is the defunct. That is the rightful heir. And then Allah revealed to me the other day, he said that I was most closest to him. Now, the first thing I thought about was Jesus. And then I thought about the prophet Muhammad. And I thought about everything I did. And I was like, wow. And he said, I am most closest to him. This is seen in the story of the prodigal son. You had two sons. One son was a good son. The other son was bad as hell. But God brings out the royal robe. They kill the fatted calf for this son that once was blind, but now he can see. And I have been that man that was born blind. Just like the man who ran and met a prophet by the name of the prophet Isa. And he was born blind. And his disciples asked, who sinned? Did this man do? Whose sin was it that this man was born blind? Was it his parents? And Jesus said, neither. But that the works of God might be made manifest in him. He was talking about Al Maddie. And this man was born blind. And he spat on the ground. And he made clay and put it on his eyes. And the man went Sing. That's a picture of me. I was born blind. I've been the Maddie this whole time. My dad's born in May. My son's born in May. I'm born in May. My mama died when I was nine. Still didn't know I was the Maddie. My other mama died. Still didn't know. My kid's mother died. Still didn't know. My sister Margaret died. Still didn't know. My dude buddy Mac died. Still didn't know. My cousin Marcus died. I still did not know I was the Maddie. And for those of you who are Muslim, you might be like, OK, but it says of my family's house of my descendants. No, you have to go to the Bible. And the reason why the nation of Islam is experiencing all these judgments is because y'all been ignoring the Bible. And that's why you are being stung by a swarm of killer bees. The roof is caving in on the Arabs. Read the book of the bees. Y'all is facing judgment for ignoring the Bible. And get this, ignoring Bilal. How y'all pronounce it? Bilal. The guy who used to wake you up, the guy that used to do the Adan. Okay, he is a picture of the real Ramadan. He is a picture of the ultimate Hajj you guys are going to take. You're going to learn one day soon. Why Arabia will be green. You guys have been forgetting this guy. And Bilal was a picture of Maddie. There's a black man coming who's going to rule the entire earth. Now, this is in our Bible. The Bible tells us this. Let's, let's go to Isaiah 49 real quick. Because you guys are saying that the Maddie is going to be Arabian. Well, who's going to raise up the 12 tribes of Israel? Who's going to restore Israel? This is the reason why my black brothers, the brothers that look like me, won't come to Islam is because the Bible has many prophecies of a man restoring Israel to a nation. Who's going to do that if he's Arabian? How could an Arabian raise up the 12 tribes of Israel? This man will have to be of Israel, specifically from the loins of, you know it, King David, and I am a descendant of David. This house is the house of David. I did not really know why I named my channel David, okay? I thought I was doing it for my metaphors that I teach, but no, Allah had bigger plans than me. And the house of David has the Mahdi. 
This right here, this person you're talking to should be the happiest man on earth, okay? Because I am the Matty. Going on, Isaiah 49 and 6, it reads, And he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. I will also give you for a light to the Gentiles that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. So God's going to use one man to raise back up all the tribes of Israel. And not only that, this same man is going to restore the fortunes of Israel. And not only that, this man is is going to be a light to the Gentiles. This is talking about al Mahdi, the guy that has been charged to clean up this earth. Now, all you got to do is type in Dai Quant. Type in Dai Quant. D-Y-Q-U-A-N-T. I've been singing about this stuff that I'm talking about for the last 30 albums. I have 30 albums. I've done over 33 albums and still didn't realize that I was Al. God has been trying to tell me that I was the Maddie. Okay? So think about this. When everybody thought the world was going to end in 2000, the Maddie was already here. And if you read through the Hey Deeps, it tells us that the Maddie is going to meet Jesus Christ. I'm going to meet Jesus Christ. And I've been a Christian rapper, okay, singer, Israelite singer, and now I sing in the real Islam. You know the real Islam that still does permit music? Yes, okay? So I've been doing all the above of what this Hey Deep is talking about in my music. And all you got to do is look at my music. I'm talking about an Arabian army. I'm talking about God giving me a new name in my music. I'm talking about reliving the book of Acts. I'm talking about all these things in my music. That's eight years ago, seven years ago, 11 years ago. Okay. And it's all coming to the light now. Now I know why I've been singing. I should be the happiest man on this earth because Allah revealed to me. I have no sins. They are all gone, okay? That black cobblestone that the Arabians kiss, that black cobblestone that the Arabs kiss every day, that's a picture of me. I am the Lamonti. Jesus said, the stone that the builders rejected, that same stone is the chief cornerstone. And the Arabians are kissing a black rock every day and don't even realize that their ruler is, is black. Now, I'm going to take it home with one more scripture. This is going to be Song of Solomon, chapter 5 and 6. And I have a song about this as well. It goes like this. I am black but calmly. Oh, you daughters of Jerusalem. As the tents of Kedar. Now, a lot of y'all people don't know these Bible words. Kedar is another word for Arab. As the tents of Kadar. So the tents of Kadar is supposed to be black. Now I'm going to keep going on. As the tents of Kadar, as the curtains of Solomon. Look not upon me because I'm black. Because the sun have looked upon me. My mother's children were angry with me. Why? Because they made me the keeper of the vineyards. In other words, they made me the ruler of the nation of Islam. They made me the ruler of of the Arabs. There's coming a day when I will be the ruler of the Arabs. Now, you might think I'm going crazy, okay? But all it takes is time and the future will figure me out. Now, we need to get this truth out. I have the PayPal button. We got to support this truth. All this stuff is mine, okay? And I am going to look out for those that look out for me. I'm going to treat people how they treat me. If you wasn't with me at my worst, you're not going to be with me in my best, okay? Ain't no way you going to claim to be my friend when I get the money if you wasn't my friend when I didn't have the money. Now, we need to get this truth out. My music, my messages is supposed to be all international, and I'm supposed to be doing sermons 
internationally, on an international level. You can help me get this truth out by supporting, okay? Now, we got to realize that the Arabians are facing a judgment because they've been ignoring the prophecies that's in the Bible. The Bible just said God will raise up a messenger from the seed of David. And the house of David will be like God. Why? Because it's home of al Mahdi. And the Arabians are in trouble because they are ignoring the Bible. And that's why the roof has caved in on the Arabians. And they are being stung by a pack of killer bees. Okay. And think about us. We as black people, we have music such as Killer Bees by Wu-Tang Clan. We have a black boxer by the name of Muhammad Ali. The same last name as mine, Clay, okay? Cash is Clay. I'm the real Cash is Clay, okay? We have a guy by the name of Master P talking about he's a no-limit soldier. I thought I told you. Let me tell you something. I am al and when the time comes, I'm going to be like, I thought I told you. I thought I told you he's a no limit soldier. Why? Because Allah is protecting him. If you have been charged to clean up the entire earth, don't you know you're going to be protected? And I go fast because I'm advanced. Think about the movie Book of Eli. This black man was playing a masculine role. OK, he wasn't playing a Chris Tucker role. This black man wasn't playing an Eddie Murphy role. He was playing the Maddy, okay? And Book of Eli is a picture of the Maddy. There's so much. Michael Tyson, Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan, um, all these famous men, even men of the past, Marcus Garvey, all these guys, okay? Even Bill Cosby, because I had a song talking about people are going to be mad. They standing firm, yes. they go the black and the brown. Hey. They standing firm, they standing yellow. They go the black and the brown. Now they yellow, now they yellow, now they yellow. Madreal.net. Give your audience water. something to remember. You know, in our culture as black people, we be like, oh, she jello. He jello. He mad. And let me tell you something these Arabians are going to be jello. Once they find out that their Mahdi is black, and then he's their ruler. Woo-wee! And I have plans. I have plans. I can't tell you right now. I have so many plans. Allah downloaded me with so much stuff. So we got to get the truth out. Share this channel. Okay, I have a phone number that is tied specifically to the ministry. Okay, I got two phones. I got two. I got one that's mine and I got one that's dedicated solely to the house of David. And I leave it home because it's not blowing up. My YouTube channel is low volume. Right now, I'm in the process of getting YouTube promotion. OK, I'm about to spend my money to get some YouTube promotion. I shouldn't be spending it by myself. OK, so we need to get this truth out and we can get this truth out with your help, especially some of my brothers that's been on here. They tell me how I've helped them and showed them things and taught them things, but they not communicating with me. OK, come on now. You got to communicate. Not all of you. OK, I have one brother. He sent me some money all the way from the Netherlands. OK, and I'll tell you the truth. He, he sent me 50 bucks. Wasn't much. He sent me $50, okay? But to show him my appreciation, I sent him one of my House of David t-shirts that costed me $180, not counting the shirt. So it's not about the money with me. I'm a giver by nature, okay? I encourage you to do what's right. Supporting me is just like supporting the Prophet Muhammad 10 times more. Because the prophet Muhammad was told he's not a father. He was told that he's not a supervisor. He was told he's not a poet. You know why? Because all these things, the Mahdi is, okay? Music, sermons, leading, a crusade, an army worldwide is coming out of this house. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the real truth.
it's been prophesied that I would lead a crusade. Been prophesied that I would lead a crusade. Oh, it's been prophesied that I would lead a crusade. Oh, it's been prophesied that I would lead a crusade. Been prophesied that I would lead a crusade. Oh, it's been prophesied. Oh, it's been prophesied. Oh, it's been prophesied. Prophesied, prophesied. They put the black and the brown. They stand and burn, they stand and talk. Oh, God, they you promised me. Oh, Lord, you promised me. I honor thee, I honor thee. Oh, Lord, you promised me. You promised me, I honor thee. Oh, Lord, you promised me. You promised me, I honor thee. My God, you promised me. You promised me, I honor thee. My God, you promised me. You promised me, no defeat. Oh, Lord, you promised me. You promised me, no defeat. Oh, it's been prophesied. This crusade oh, that I would lead a crusade. Oh, it's been prophesied that I would lead this crusade. Oh, it's been prophesied. This crusade. Oh, it's been prophesied. These prophecies I can't deny. It's been prophesied. These prophecies I can't deny. Oh, it's been prophesied. These prophecies I can't deny. Oh, it's been prophesied. These prophecies I can't deny. Oh, it's been prophesied. Almighty God, he cannot lie. It's been prophesied. Almighty God, he cannot lie. Oh, it's been prophesied. Almighty God, he cannot lie. Oh, it's been prophesied. Almighty God, he cannot lie. In the brown, standing firm, standing tall. There go the black and the brown. Standing strong, standing firm. There go the black and the brown. They standing firm, they standing strong. They go the black and the brown. They standing firm, they standing strong. They go the black and the brown. They standing tall, they standing firm. They go the black and brown. They standing firm, they standing strong. They go the black and the brown. They standing strong, they standing firm. They go the black and the brown. They standing firm, they standing strong. They go the black and the brown. Madreal.net. Give your eyes water. something to remember. And these knees weak as water. And all these hands just wax people. And all these knees just wax people. Man. Woman. And all these hands Friends just wax people. Man. Woman. And every knee has wax people.